Hi, it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is switch. Let's take a look at some of the definitions or ways that we use this verb. The first way you might hear switch used is to mean to change the position, direction, or focus of something or someone. So uh, maybe you've had a, a, an experience where you're on a plane or on a bus uh, with, with someone and they want to be in the seat that you are in. So they might say something like, let's switch seats, right? So that's changing the position. Uh, same idea kind of uh, with direction or, or what we're paying attention to, the focus of. A second way you might hear switch used is to mean to just change. So we're adopting something different. Um, sometimes uh, I've heard from students um, that they begin texting someone and they realize, oh, I need to switch languages. I'm texting in English, but I meant uh, to, to use Spanish to this particular person, right? So changing something. Uh, you might also hear this uh, ad to adopt something different. Um, an example of that, I'm, I'm going to use myself. So uh, I've shared in some of my earlier videos, I had a very different job um, 10 years ago before I became an English teacher. Uh, so when I talk about that, many times I use this verb. I say I switched careers. I changed. I adopted a, a new career. A third way you might hear switch used is to mean to exchange. So here we're substituting one item for another. Uh, maybe it's because we don't have the, the one we need, so we're going to use something else. We'll switch, um, but uh, we'll see some other examples of that a little bit later as well. You should know that the verb switch is a regular verb. To make the progressive form, we're just going to add ing to form switching. To make the past tense and participle forms of this verb, we need to add ed. Now, our base verb switch ch, ch, ends in this unvoiced ch or ch sound. So when I add my ed ending, I'm going to make a t sound when I say it. It should sound like this switched, switched. Okay. Now today we're going to focus on phrasal verbs that use switch because there are so many. Um, and you can probably tell from my notes, I'm going to have kind of two pages of notes to share with you. So let's begin discussing our first phrasal verb, and that is to switch around. So this generally means we're altering something, we're rearranging, right? Putting things in different places. So an example of this might be, I'm going to switch around the layout of the family room this weekend. Okay, so I'm going to switch around is an example of the simple future using be going to. And here, the person um, is probably talking about, you know, I'm going to move the couch from this side of the room to this side. And maybe I, I move some coffee tables. I move the TV. I move what other, whatever other pieces of furniture are um, existing in that room to different places. A second phrasal verb you might hear or see is to switch back. This can have a couple different meanings. One would be to return to some previous state or condition. An example of this might be, I'll switch my screen back to gallery view. Here's another simple future sentence, but this time we're using will. Um, and uh, maybe you're having this experience if you're still having a lot of Zoom meetings or Zoom classes, but we can change the way the screen looks, what we see, how many other people we see as we're meeting. And so that's what's meant by gallery view. That's one type. And so here, uh, someone was in that particular view. They made a change to a different one, and now they're going to switch back. A second way we can use switch back um, is to mean to return something. Um, and maybe that's something um, 
we're, we're returning to that we used to do or that we used to have, we used to use, kind of depends on the situation. But let's take a look at an example here. I switched back to my old internet provider after a month. Okay, so here switched back is in the simple past tense. And uh, what this means is um, I was I was using one company to, to have internet service and I decided, oh, maybe this, this other company has better, right? So I make a change and then I'm like, oh no, this, this internet is bad, it's worse, right? So I switch back, I return to the first company. Another phrasal verb you might hear is to switch from. This can have a few meanings. One would be to stop doing or using something in order to do or use something else. Let's take a look at an example sentence. Per her doctor's orders, she switched from regular coffee to decaf. Okay, so here's another simple past tense sentence, right? Someone, uh, in this, this case, uh, a, a woman, was maybe drinking a lot of regular caffeinated coffee, right? And the doctor says, mm, for some reason, some medical condition maybe, this is not good for you, right? So she's going to stop drinking regular coffee. Now this woman is going to only drink decaf. A second way we can use switch from is to mean to change from one type to another type of something. So an example of this might be, Will you switch the TV from the news to something more lighthearted? Okay. So here, right, we're changing sort of the channel in this case. Uh, so we're, we're going from one show or one type of show to a different type of show. Okay. And will you switch the TV uh, is an example of a yes or no question in the simple future. The next phrasal verb we'll discuss is switch off. It can also have a few different meanings. One would be to disable something, disconnect it, turn it off. So an example here, switch the TV off when you leave the room. Right? Um, probably more likely for you to hear someone say, turn off the TV, but switch the TV off would have the same meaning here. And this is an example of an imperative, a command that I'm giving. I'm telling someone to do this particular action. Now, let's take a look at another meaning for switch off. Um, it, we can use it to mean that we're sharing some sort of role or task. An example here. My husband and I switch off cleaning the bathroom each week. Okay, so we don't really enjoy this task, right? Not, uh, there, there isn't just one person who always wants this to be their job. So one week I do it, then my husband does it the next weekend, and we kind of go back and forth. That's what switch off can, uh, can be used to mean as well. Another phrasal verb you might hear is to switch on. This is sort of the opposite of the first meaning we looked at um, when we were talking of switch off. Right, so to disable, disconnect, right? Now when we switch on, we're talking about activating something, connecting, or, or starting some sort of functioning of, of this object. So an example here, can you switch on the lights? Right? Again, this would be like turn on the lights. Uh, here, uh, I might be making a request to someone using that modal can. So it's pretty informal, uh, but I think pretty common to hear among family, uh, maybe even close friends as well. Another phrasal verb you might hear is switch out. This can mean to exchange a piece, a part, or maybe even a person for someone else. So uh, sometimes you'll hear switch out used during various sports. And we're talking about sort of substituting one player for another. Another example of this might be, though, uh, in a restaurant. You might have a server say to you, you can switch out the chips for fries. So uh, let's say we have uh, sandwiches, right? And the uh, sandwiches all come with potato chips. Um, 
and and for some reason, right, someone wants to just exchange that part, right? They would rather have french fries versus potato chips. That's another example of switch out. Another phrasal verb you might hear is switch over. This is going to be our last phrasal verb, and it can have a couple different meanings. One would be to change to a different person or a different thing. Um, you might hear this used uh, to talk about switching companies that are providing some kind of service or, or a product. So an example of that, we're switching over to a new computer system this week. Right? So here's that idea. We're changing the, the software uh, or program that we use uh, at a, a particular job. We're switching over is an example of the present progressive. So we're talking about an action that is in progress. The last way you might hear switch over used uh, would be to refer to changing TV channels, changing radio stations, uh, maybe if you're in the car. So an example here, don't switch over until the game is finished. Okay? Here's a negative imperative or a negative command. So where someone is telling someone not to change the channel before this game ends. Now, let's spend a moment looking at some words and a phrase that are related to our verb of the day, switch. And the first word we're going to look at is just the noun form of this word. So, same spelling, same pronunciation. And the first way you might hear switch used is to refer to a device um, that's used for making and breaking uh, the connection in an in electric circuit. So I know this definition sounds very complex, but I've got a picture here to help illustrate it. And I'll bring my cursor here, right? This, uh, this is a switch, right? It turns the lights on and off. That's what making the connection uh, would be on, right? Breaking the collect connection would be the off. So you might hear someone walk into a dark room and say, where's the light switch? Or just where's the switch, right? To turn on the light. Another way you might hear switch used is to refer to the act of adopting. Uh, maybe it's a policy, a, a way of life, uh, the way we choose a particular item, and all of that sort of being done in the place of some other policy or, or choice. So an example here. Is he thinking about making a career switch? Right? So that idea, kind of, that, that would be the way of life, sort of a, a piece there. Okay? And we can tell a career switch here um, is, is helping us know that it's being used as a noun here and not as a verb. The next word um, some people might hear is the noun switchblade. Uh, this is a knife that kind of springs out of the handle when uh, a button or, or something on the, the outside is sort of pressed. Um, an example of this word in a sentence, you can't bring a switchblade onto a plane. Right? That um, does not make people feel very safe. So, um, Lastly, let's take a look at a phrase. Something you might hear about uh, and you should protect yourself uh, from is a bait and switch. So uh, this is used many times in connection to marketing and sales. It's a tactic, a strategy, where uh, a company, an organization, tries to get customers' attention. Uh, look at this very low price on this thing, right? But when they come to the store or they, they go online to buy that low price thing, they are sort of directed or encouraged to buy something that is higher priced. So that's the idea. You, uh, you bring someone in with something cheap and then you make this switch to get them to spend more money. An example of this, uh, a pretty recent one from the news, uh, the Federal Trade Commission sued Intuit to stop its bait and switch TurboTax ads. So um, 
Federal Trade Commission is a government organization, uh, many times trying to protect consumers, protect the average day person. They sued a company, uh, uh, and a company that um, tries to get people to, to buy software, to file their own taxes and things. And they were told, you advertise kind of a, a low price to file your tax return. But when someone goes out, you've added all these extra things in so that the price is much higher. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day.